With the 1.7 update to Pixelmator Pro in August 2020, a new Text on Path feature was added. This lets us apply text onto a smooth curve or shape. There are four different ways to get this done. The first three are new options under the Type tool. Let's try Text on a Circle first. With this selected, I need to then click and drag to make an ellipse, or hold down the Shift key for a perfect circle. Release and we can now enter text above that will stay centered on top of this ellipse. Use the handles at either end of the text box to adjust where on the path or the shape the text is going to be placed. I could move this text to the right side of this ellipse. Notice that this is on its own text on a path layer. The ellipse itself is not going to be visible. Click off to another layer, and we're left with just the text. Right or control click on the blue line of the ellipse, and we get a transform path option. With this, we can adjust the size of the ellipse. If I make it a little wider and flatter, I'll reduce the amount of curve that the text is on. Right click and choose Flip Text Along Path, and the text moves to the inside of the ellipse. I can then use the handles to bring the text to the bottom of the ellipse, placing it in more of a smiling shape. Now let's try the Path Type tool. With this, I need to click to draw a path. Click and drag to make curves. To complete the path, double click on the red dot. I'm then able to enter my text. Notice that the text is fully editable. We're able to apply a color to it, adjust the font or size, and adjust the spacing, which can be helpful if you want to fit the text to your path. Let's hide that layer and then try the Freeform Type tool. For this, we just click and drag to trace the path. After that, it's going to work the same as the Path Type tool did. So that's the three new Text on Path tools. But we can also apply text to any shape or path that's already been created. So I'm going to create a new custom shape and choose the eye here. I'll make it a little bigger. And then I'll select the regular old type tool. Now as I hover over the edges of the shape, the cursor changes to a text on path symbol. It will flip to let me know if the text will be applied above or below the path. Click and the text is applied and can then be edited. Notice the text here is put on its own layer. So it's separate from the shape. If I move the eye shape layer, the text stays put. So it'll most likely be a good move to group these. We're able to continue to add text layers to any path in this shape. So this is going to be a great feature to have when you're trying to creatively add text to graphics.